I'm Dave Ness, I'm an artist. I produce photographic art. I got married young, 19, and, and we bought a camera when we were about 20, and I started getting serious about photography, but then little things like kids and career came along and it just consumed me for many, many years. I was electrical engineer and then got a master's in, in business with a marketing emphasis and went into sales and marketing, eventually ran a company for about 14 years. So I spent 25 years in high tech. It was a very rewarding career. I enjoyed it. It was, it was creation. It was innovative. You were designing things, you were solving problems. It, it was very fun. When we sold the company, that sale process was, was a lot of work and, and a lot of stress negotiating with the company that bought us. And I, I decided to take a little time off and go spend time on things that I hadn't had time to spend. I reacquainted with photography and started putting a lot of effort into it and remembered why I enjoyed it so much. But eventually, I just woke up one day and said, why aren't I just doing this full time? And that's kind of where it really took a serious path. You know, when I started really diving into photography and going out and capturing images, I just captured what I saw. I just captured what I liked, what grabbed me. And it wasn't until I started showing that people started pointing out my images are very soothing and calming. And, and I started thinking, well, why is it you can go out with a camera and capture anything? I really believe that it was the, the stress of life and stress of the job, but I think that there's a need in our society for a calming balance. You make transitions, you know, as an amateur photographer, uh, you go out and you take a bunch of images and you hope one comes out. And then at some point in time you realize that to get a really good image, you need to conceive the shot and you need to design it in your mind and then go make it happen. I've always loved to challenge, whether in, in my past business or this, and the challenge of me divorcing my brain of all those logical, structured, organized thoughts and being more free thinking, I, I love it. Along the way, I had an uh, art coach for a little while, and she was helping me to think more like an artist and less like an engineer or a photographer. She made a statement one day that really helped me take a, a turn in my direction. She said, your images are beautiful. It's a beautiful scene. There's no doubt. People probably love to look at that. But by taking the entire image in such a representative way of what you would see if you were there, you've left nothing for the imagination. You've told the whole story. And I thought that was interesting. And I said to her, well, there's nothing wrong with telling the whole story if the story's great. And there isn't. But that helped me think, maybe I could capture images that cause you to you know, do some introspection, to think about what it might mean to you. Really what I'm trying to do is bring the feeling back so that you can experience for maybe it's 15 seconds, maybe it's 15 minutes in your day and take a little break from all the headache that we normally have. The evolution of one's work is, is exciting. I've evolved to where I am now and you'll, I'll never be done, right? I already have some ideas of what I might work on next. Sometimes it's capture techniques and sometimes it's presentation techniques. So the evolution is the exciting part of it. Now when I show my work and people react, it, that means something to me because I'm happy if they like the scene I brought. I, that's why I'm doing it. When someone wants to take one of my pieces and hang it in their business or hang it in their house to create part of their ambiance, there's no greater reward. I feel honored that they would have my work in their house. My goals for my career, if you will, are to just stay focused on getting better and better at, at telling that story and finding those scenes and, and bringing it back. I'll feel successful when I have continued to evolve in, in being able to tell that story. I produce art. The fact that I use a camera today is just how I do it today. The camera's just my brush, basically. Thank you.